Good morning. Um, I have a headshot session that I completely forgot that I booked. I paid a certain amount and you can get unlimited headshots for a year. I'm not sure how much that makes sense from a business point of view, but that's not really my concern. Um, so I've booked another one for the next weekend as well. So next weekend is like serious headshot session. So I thought this weekend, let's just have fun. So I'm not wearing any makeup. I've not really done anything to my hair. I'm trying to keep it from the rain. I figure that this is a really nice kind of opportunity to actually just be me and actually like explore what that is and what that looks like and like what do I look like when I'm not trying to be anything else, trying to look like anything specific when I'm just, you know, and it might be fun for them as well, like to have a little, they can experiment and do stuff that they normally can't do because they're trying to get headshots. Like this doesn't have to be headshots. We can do more like editorial stuff or anything like that. So I sent them this like whole chain of emails yesterday. So I emailed them in the morning being like, I'm sorry, I've only just remembered that this is going on. Um, I'm kind of ill as well. So I used that as an excuse. I was like, I'm, you know, I'm ill. Can I rearrange for next weekend? And then she emailed back at like six saying, yes, you can rearrange, but it's going to cost you 50 quid. So I emailed back and was like, okay, don't worry. I won't rearrange. I'll come. But like, can I also book a session? Because it's limitless. I'll come. Can I also book a session for next weekend? She didn't reply because it was like six by that point. And then I tried to call them this morning because I'm worried that they've like cancelled the session. And then I'm going to turn up because I have uncancelled the session or like I've never actually fully confirmed that it's cancelled. I'm going to turn up and they're not going to be there. So I tried to call this morning and he didn't pick up. It's in like, uh, like Westbourne Park near Paddington. So it's like an hour's travel. I don't really mind, like, if, if they're not there, it's right by Notting Hill. It's a shit day, but it's right by Notting Hill. I'll just, like, go shopping. Um, and if they are there, then great. We'll get some headshots. Sort of not headshots. Anyway, we'll see. I feel like it's a bit of a bold move to not be wearing any makeup to a headshot session. Um, and I kind of like how that feels. I like, I like how rebellious that feels and also how normal it feels. Um, wow, this light is good. Yeah, it just feels good. We'll see. It's a shit day, so I'm going to put my phone away. Just getting soaked. And I'll see you on the other side. I just finished my session and it was so much fun. Um, it was really nice doing a session that was like not, there was no pressure, there was no like, we need to get headshots and I need to look a certain way and, um, and look how gorgeous these studios are. It's a beautiful day actually, which is weird because it was so gross earlier. My photographer was called Izzy, um, she's from Brazil. She was really cool. She looked really, really cool. Um, yeah, she made me feel really relaxed and like really um, comfortable. And like we were doing loads of stuff that just wasn't like headshots, but was just fun, kind of more relaxed, more like posing, but 
but in like a easy way, you know? Um, and yeah, it was really great to kind of have a session that was just about relaxing and just being me and everything. Cause I think that's what this was all about. I think I'm going to go shopping. Um, and like we're in West London. Um, and I think I want to try and get to Portobello Road um, and go like vintage shopping. out for a walk I went out last night and I'm a bit hungover my sister was saying that like I went to her birthday party a few months ago and I had a really great time I was like dancing and being very kind of um, outgoing and like loud and vivacious I guess and all that stuff and she was like yeah you had a great time and like I had a great time with you but like you weren't really you and I was like what does that mean and you know and she was saying like you weren't really being you you like became someone else which was really weird and really kind of hard to hear in a way because it felt like me like I felt like I was being authentic um but like what does that mean and what would, how would I have acted if I was being me according to her in that situation? And I know what she means because when you get in that headspace where you're just kind of having a really great time or you're just like in a, in the zone, then you do kind of detach a little bit I think and I did maybe detach a bit from like reality I wasn't exactly like grounded in reality if that makes sense but I don't know if that means it wasn't me anyway the emotional blow up continues I've just had like the best haircut of my life I love it um, <laughs> I actually love it. Like properly sorted me out. This place called Notice um, in Shoreditch. Beautiful, not overpriced. We are literally around the corner from George, George Northwood. Um, I love it. Yes, I'm gonna put a fly. Baby, you give me a bit that You whip up my don't leave me in high and dry Baby, you get me out of the fire You're gentle and wind and rain You're some kind of butterfly Baby, you... Thank you.
con mi hermano, que fue algo también que nos fue quitado. Entonces, de una manera u otra, yo creo que la perspectiva para que pueda existir, para que pueda tener una existencia humanitaria, es el rescate de Cristo.